Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. TSMC, the chip giant that once daunted global technology giants, now appears respectful in front of Huawei. Please give me a chance, TSMC Chairman Morris Chang said with a hint of helplessness. How will TSMC's future move affect the global chip landscape? TSMC's Dilemma TSMC, once a leader in the chip industry, is now really in a dilemma. In August 2022, TSMC announced that it would invest $40 billion to build a new plant in Arizona, USA. The U.S. government has been promising subsidies and preferential policies. But in April 2024, TSMC Chairman Morris Chang couldn't help but complain publicly that he had not received any subsidies and the construction of the new plant had been repeatedly postponed and there was not even a specific start time. TSMC is really in trouble now. It is really embarrassing that the huge investment has no return. Originally, TSMC wanted to take both sides into account, both to maintain the goodwill of the United States and to avoid angering China. But the current situation is that neither side is pleasing. The United States is unreliable and China has messed up again. What should we do? At such a contradictory and complex moment, TSMC suddenly thought of its old friend Huawei. In May 2024, Morris Chang publicly expressed his willingness to provide Huawei with 28NM level chips and did not forget to say ask for an opportunity. This is really the old saying, a golden nest or a silver nest is not as good as your own doghouse. Is TSMC preparing to re-enter the Chinese market? Technical limitations of 28 nanometers chips. But this time TSMC may be disappointed. The 28 nanometers chips it intends to provide to Huawei are actually outdated products. In the field of chips, 28 nanometers technology is already an old technology from 10 years ago. In contrast, Today's high-end chips have developed to 5 nanometers and 3 nanometers processes, and 28 nanometers seems to be much behind, like the gap between candles and LED lights. Simply put, if the chip is the engine of a car, then the 28 nanometers chip is like the engine of an old car 10 years ago. Imagine if you are used to driving a Tesla and suddenly someone gives you an old car from 10 years ago, would you be willing to drive it? This is simply a joke. For companies like Huawei that need high-end mobile phones and 5G base stations, using 28 nanometers chips is undoubtedly a step backward. Using this chip, Huawei's mobile phones may not even be able to run popular games smoothly, let alone deploy AI and big data. Huawei's Technological Self-Sufficiency Although Huawei was sanctioned by the United States and banned from buying chips, they were not willing to give up. In May 2019, the United States added Huawei to the entity list, prohibiting it from purchasing American products and technologies. Many people thought that Huawei would fall because of this, 
but Huawei unexpectedly released the Kirin 9000 chip, a high-end chip using 7 nanometers technology. Only TSMC and Samsung can produce 7 nanometers chips in the world. Even under the unfavorable conditions of sanctions, Huawei can still develop such high-end chips, which is a miracle. In August 2023, Huawei launched the Mate 60 Pro mobile phone equipped with the fully self-developed Kirin 9000S chip. The performance of this chip is not even inferior to Apple's A16 chip, indicating that Huawei has completely stabilized its market position. The deeper meaning of TSMC's ask for an opportunity. Therefore, when TSMC proposed to provide Huawei with 28 nanometers chips, Huawei might laugh in its heart and think it was just a joke. Then the question is, TSMC can't know that this doesn't mean much to Huawei, why does it still make this suggestion? TSMC is looking for a way out for itself. After being frustrated in the United States, it hopes to re-enter the Chinese market. But because it cooperated with the US sanctions on Huawei before, it always needs to show some sincerity if it wants to turn back now. Therefore, behind TSMC's ask for an opportunity, it is not only a show of goodwill to Huawei, but more like a cry to the entire Chinese market. Friends, we can still be good friends, don't hold grudges. Unfortunately, there are no eternal friends in the business battlefield. Huawei has finally gained a foothold after many hardships, and it is impossible to leave its fate to others. Moreover, Huawei is no longer dependent on TSMC. This drama is getting more and more exciting. TSMC wants to return to the Chinese market, but Huawei no longer needs it. Let's wait and see how this chip war will end. TSMC's begging drama is even more exciting than a TV series. The former chip overlord is now begging for reconciliation in front of Huawei. But unfortunately, Huawei, the owner, has high standards for quality and disdains the old 28 nanometers chips. How will this business drama end? Can TSMC regain the respect of the chip industry? Or is this just a farce that is doomed to be futile? Let's see how the next scene unfolds.